When you, when you learn classically, you learn to develop a very strong inner sensor who's constantly berating you for what you're doing wrong, you know. And um, you, I, think, I think all players, classical or otherwise, need to get, get a good gag on that person at a certain point or just have a control of that inner sensor because um, when you move to improvised music and you're actually creating music, you can't have somebody saying, what? Is that really what you mean? Are you sure about that? Where's your vibrato? Where's your intonation? Where's your, you know, um, you, need, you need to be able to be present and that takes you out of that. When I play pits, I feel like I can make it fit into a, a lot of different kinds of music, and especially jazz and improvisational music, it works particularly well. Whereas when I'm bowing, I'm, I'm less comfortable. So I just noticed that, and I was like, in the beginning, I, I was like, no, I should be bowing, I should. Cello is a bowed, in, you know, pizzicato is just for 10% of the time varied, you know, I should bow. And I was like, yeah, you, you, you just have to like give that up because you know you're clearly super comfortable with pizzicato, and I just feel like it gives me a, a second to breathe, to think before I move to the next note. It 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 has a coolness to that works for your improvised music. Um, the note, you know, it's something about bowing is super hot and intense, and and uh, for certain things, it, you know, you can't you you it can't be substituted. But for a lot of the kind of moving music, and um, I don't know, I'm just more I'm just more comfortable with it. I'm not sure I can discern a through line from everything except that it, it's me there in the cello seat. Um, I like to be varied in what I present and to keep people guessing what may be next. Um, the only thing I know and is that to just maintain to be expressive as possible and constantly like I think I've learned that from even some of the indie rock guys I play with, you know, it's not, it's not your skill level, it's, your, how, it's how much you communicate, how much you express that the audience really wants to hear. They, they come to hear you be real and be expressive and um, that may be the through point for me. Mm -hmm. 